Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, thank you for all of those that have been recent subscribers to the channel. Uh, for all those that watch and don't subscribe, please just click that button just there and um, then subscribe to the channel. It does help us out. Quick video today. We're going to do a quick rehouse into a little tub. Lucy's done it with some flowers, done a little hole, but you can see off the depth it's going to be one that burrows. But the one that's going in here is a I cannot say this, Pseudophallopus species blue, the Colombian blue bottle. And I've had this one since, ooh, I think it was BTS. Um, this is going back to 2018. Really? Yeah. And it's still and in that teeny tiny Al thing. I was a rat lid, bought me this because I bought him. Probably <laughs> bought it for you. Yeah, I uh, bought him a Brazilian wife. black he didn't have one and he wanted one so i got him one of them and he went in there and secretly bought this for me and got me this and since then all that time ago it's been sat in this little tiny tub and i'm not gonna lie it was smaller than 0.5 you could oh. hardly see it so i had to feed it cricket legs like drumsticks oh. I had to give it drumsticks all the time <laughs> like then drumsticks. i caught it eating <laughs> the drumsticks and then i think after about a year year and a half i saw it finally take its first small cricket which I'm absolutely amazed but if you come in we'll give you a look now plus because I can't see because that torch light's done me. Mm -hmm. This is the right. present from your wife. So this one's molted a good few days ago it's still looking white it's not crystal white but I just need to um, rehouse it because in this little vial don't know if you can see no it's closed over now now it's come out and molted it did have tunnels going all the way around and this is a good sign when they close off the tunnel and sit on top that means that they're ready to be rehoused so it's shiny it's bum is yeah this is a skittish species doesn't normally bite this will be easy to handle but because they're so small um it takes a lot of time so i think getting the humidity right on this one i never over soaked it i left it dry but i just moistened one side and then if the spider was always on the moist side i moistened the other side to bring it all up if it didn't then i'd keep it drier um but the feeding of this one i'm not gonna lie it wasn't easy it's it took a long time of ch um cricket drumsticks just to get it to actually eat now. I'm not gonna film it now because it's been about five days, I think, since it's molted, so it still needs to harden, but I just wanna give it a bit more room. It can burrow in the new one, and I'm just gonna see if it will like to come out on my hand. Oh, it's just gonna walk out. Oh, come on, dude. Can you see? Yeah. It's come out on me before. Come on. I can't believe that that's like three years old. Yeah, I know. Indeed. There we go. And you can believe that if I move over here, if you stay there, that will turn into this on the screen. If I put a, an adult there, and you can see the coloration of the adults is just absolutely stunning. This is a really good one to have, but if uh, people that are new to the hobby and don't understand husbandry and care of certain spiders i would say this one is a beginner it's easy but the husbandry of this is slightly harder because it's awkward to feed it's so tiny and literally getting it right so we've done more substrate in its new enclosure um, and we'll let that dry out and then we'll see where it makes its home and then we'll go from there because um, as you can see this where it was in is dry compared to the new home if you go over yeah but this is still moist, but it's just not as damp as this. So see if I can get well. this little guy to go in. It's almost white or silver, isn't he? Yeah. Minute. Come on, buddy. Oh, you're so cute. It's one of my personal favorites. I'll turn it around. Giving it's it like, more it's room. Favorite because you're. Mrs. No, because it's, it. uh, well, yeah, because Al bought it for me, 
We did a little starter hole there. I wanted it to go straight down under the quarter buck, but they might find that hole and bury itself in. But it'll have a little look around, find somewhere it feels comfortable. And then what I'll do is I'll wait a couple of days, see if it's hardened up a bit more. And then what I'll do is I'll feed it and add that on to after this video. But you can see it's just Aww, gonna hide under there. It's got loads of places to hide. I'm not actually gonna be able to see this one to find it, but mm -hmm. we've done the hole start a burrow just down there you can't really see it but it goes all the way in there um hopefully when it's darker it will go down and go in but i can't wait for this to get bigger and start getting some coloration so if i can give you a quick last look Cute. and then you can go and hide oh i leave him be because if i go go down and you start a burrow bud so there he is that's where i wanted it to start doing the, the hole so now it's got a support from the cork bark and then obviously it'll dig its hole down in there and it's easier to spot easier to find webbing wise um, no webbing whatsoever so far just does a burrow and that's it comes out runs around it's quite bold um, can be skittish if you startle it. Uh, the light can make it go a bit skittish, but for me, it just sits there, it will take off you. It's very bold, this one. That's no cute. idea if this is male or female, but just for the sake of those colors there on the adults, it's just, yeah, definitely must have. I've not seen any more of these at the minute, so I do want to get a couple more, but because they start off so small, I think a lot of people won't have it. And it, takes a, it has took a long time to get to that size, but now I think every malt it will get bigger it is and cute, um, the colour will come through more. So thanks very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.